always take a moment before we come through to have a conversation with Karen, just a little bit about what we're going to talk about and what we're going to do. And we're going to share with you just in this moment, something that we have taught her and we want to share it with you. And it's about dropping consciousness, dropping consciousness from the head into the heart, because it is through the heart that you can really access your inner knowing. Thinking through the heart, feeling through the heart, and allowing your brain area to do the mundane tasks of your day. But your issuance of what you're bringing into the world really needs to be centered here. And the ego will fight you on this and tell you it's not possible but we will tell you it really and truly is possible that your true self is here. Your soul is based here. And we want you to experience what we call the consciousness drop into the heart. So if you will just, where you are, sit up straight and put your feet down flat so that they're not crossed because in creating this straight line, it's much easier for your breath to do its work because it is through the breath that you will do this. And we want you to just close your eyes and take a deep breath in, in through the nose, and just let it out with just a very gentle exhale. yourself relaxing into that. So we're going to do that three times and we're going to also at the same time do the sound of a oh. And as you are doing this, allow your eyes to softly focus with your eyes closed, but allow your focus to be here in the center of the forehead, in the center just above the nose, not forcing your eyes to look but gently allowing them to look here so that your eyes are not focused there, as we said, but more resting in that direction. Put your shoulders back and have your head in a level direction. And we're gonna take just these three breaths in through the nose, the exhale is OM. And when you are doing the OM, you are going to go um. Because it's that sound, that mmm sound, that pulls you awareness inside. And when you are making the sound of O, oh, you're simply closing your mouth very gently on the ah, and the sound of mm is created naturally when you close your lips. So you're going to take a deep breath in, and you're gonna, as much breath as you can take in, but gently, and you're going to slowly allow it to expel from your mouth. Then again, in through the nose and the outward breath. So we'll do that three times and then we'll continue.
centered place is what you're seeking. In meditation, this is the still center point. This is where you really are standing in your true divine self. This is really you, this, this still part of you. So allow yourself to experience this, experience yourself here. crown chakra which is at the top of your head you're going to picture the love of the universe coming in and filling your entire body and especially surrounding your heart area so let's do this one more time take a deep breath in let the love fill you into every part of your body. We're going to talk a little bit about the consciousness that's in your brain. Right now, your brain is doing millions of tasks. But we want you to think of your consciousness different than the mind as a small ball of energy that is here and as we breathe we want you to picture this ball of consciousness which holds the knowledge of your true self to fall within and settle within the heart So what's going to happen is you'll feel literally like something drops. It won't be harsh, but it will be a sensation of a new awareness. So we'll take another deep breath in. We want you to picture this ball of energy. Have it be vibrant, a glowy white ball of your consciousness. But when it hits your heart, what's going to happen, because that's its true place, it's going to expand. The consciousness, consciousness of you will expand into a wide open, filling up your entire chest, openness, openness to energy to reach out to everything that you are. The universe is here within you. And you're going to take this consciousness and you're going to allow it to roll back and drop. It's just beautiful flow. It's going to happen as we out and home. Now imagine that you have on the front of your chest that there's spiritual passageways for air and light to come in. And as we breathe in again, we want you to feel light coming in activating this ball and allowing it to expand. But as you breathe, 
breathe in symbolically, see the air coming in and coming in through your chest. You can see it as light coming in. And just allow yourself in this moment to breathe from here. And as that breath hits this ball, it opens it up and expands. And within it, it's a beautiful light. breath settles just in its own natural rhythm. Feel this expanded way of breathing. Acknowledge the love that is within you, that is manifest here. And let that also fill your body. And when you meditate again, go here feel yourself starting to feel doubtful about who you are and what you're supposed to do. Take a deep breath because your consciousness will start to creep back up into your mind. But pull it back down. Pull it back down. And then as you sit in your stillness, have the conversation with yourself about who you are and what you're here to be is just walking with awareness in the world of your divine nature. Then it is here, in this chest area, in the heart area. And when you look out consciously from this place towards others, see their light there. Acknowledging their divinity. And whether they know that their light is there or not, whether they know the real consciousness is there or not, you should know it. And you should greet them whether with words or just energetically as the divine beings that they are. This is our connection to divine energy. This is divine energy manifest. From heart to heart, you can greet each other. And we encourage you to do so with the awareness. And see just their light. much as you can. And when you forget, drop your consciousness back. Because the moments you find that you've forgotten, it's because you're thinking of your mind. So consciously begin to move your awareness into your heart. That is how you become heart-based, heart-centered. Breathe light in through your, your gills here to expand it. You can also send love from here outward. We would encourage you to do that as much as possible to the people around you, to the animals around you, to the trees around you, to the water around you, to the air around you. And connect. And know that every being, whether it is a rock or a tree or a person or an animal, has a spark of this within them. Because you were all of the same stuff. The earth has its own energetic heart. 
The oceans have their own energetic heart. Every molecule has its own energetic heart. And it's really love. And our job as humans is to connect to that. What matters is who you are. What matters is who you are. You are divine and you ultimately are God. And when your energy is high in love, you float so high above them, they can't even get to you. They can be shouting at you, but you're so high in beautiful love energy, you won't even hear them. So your job now to embrace joy, embrace love, and to get high on that, to shift your vibration to that. Play beautiful music that makes you happy. Go outside and, and stand in the sun and acknowledge that. Surround yourself with beautiful things like beautiful flowers, eat delicious food that is natural and celebrate those energies. To think about the things that you love. What do you love? And you remember that you are love. Tell yourself, I am love. I am love. I am joy. I am bliss. All of the cells and the memories and the history of the universe has manifested in me so that I can have another wonderful experience. You don't know your value yet, but we want you to experience it, and you experience it by your own being in the moment. If it wasn't something that you could overcome, you would not have the challenge. And in overcoming this, you will learn so much. So welcome this opportunity to take charge of your life, of yourself, and of your thoughts, because then you are limitless. You're without limit. You have no limit. That's what we're trying to say. So please remember, remember, we just say to everyone, you are limitless. And if you ever find that you are distracted by things that are thoughts, get into your appreciation and ground yourself because when you feel like you're out of control, you are not grounded and it's very important to be so. Much love to you.